Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, how to insert the tables and shapes and charts in Windows Word. So first, let us open the Word by typing win word in run command so that it will open the word document go to the blank document and here you can observe the insert menu so this is a menu bar which we have discussed in the first session so in that menu bar go with the insert so here you can see all the options so in today's session we will concentrate mainly on these tables and these illustrations so coming to the table if you want to represent the data in a tabular format so first we need to give the table so here you can observe there is a drop down menu so drop down uh, a small arrow mark so just click uh, click on that down arrow so you'll get the table so here you can observe the box type right so a box type tables so you can observe here this is a selection of a columns rows and columns so if you select the first row you can observe on the word document so the row was inserted and if you go with the second row two rows will be inserted three rows four rows and all uh, as usual the columns so you can select here and this is completely of 10 by 8 okay this is completely of 10 by 8 that means 8 rows in 10 columns so these are the this is the column right so this is the column one column right and 8 rows so similarly 10 columns and 8 rows 10 columns and 8 rows so if you want to insert beyond this one that means if you want to insert some 12 columns and 12 rows go with here there is an option called insert table so click on the insert table you can you'll, it will be asking about number of columns and number of rows to be inserted so that is so i will go with the 12 columns and the 12 rows and the fixed column with auto that means uh, for every column equal length will be divided and see you can just click on ok you will get the content so you will get the table with a 12 by 12 ok you will get the table with 12 by 12 and here there is a, a different styles so how the table can be represented you can observe here there are a lot of styles here right so a lot of styles and also we can apply the shading so what type of shading we require so you select just select the table and go with the shading see you can observe this is a shading the color which you need to insert and also the border style so the style of border you require right see yeah you have inserted one border right so like that we can apply the borders by drawing here and the border width so what are the what is the border width you require so select this one and you just drag the column or a row in order to apply the border width the scope following with right so so this is the thing and this is the border styles so you can observe here the bottom border only the bottom border only the top border left border right border no border border will be not there and all borders you can ob observe this is a 12 by 12 this is the outside border okay outside border and inside border inside horizontal inside vertical a diagonal a diagonal up horizontal line so like this we are having a lot of options here right so by using these options we can apply the borders border styles and similarly and here if you want to draw a table see if you want to draw a table you can also go with the draw table so here a pen will be enabled and here you can insert the table like this right this one and you can insert the rows in, you can insert the columns okay see manually you can draw the table manually you can draw the table by using that one and similarly this is a by default some layouts will be there and you can simply select the layouts okay predefined layouts will be there so you can select the layout table see this is one type of selection so calendar type table and the second one see you will be having a lot of tables so this is one way so this is one style and this is another style and also you can select uh, more number of tables in from these format okay so these are the different formats you are having by default so we can use any one of these formats so you can edit also okay you can edit like this so we can edit right 
So this can be happens with the help of this one quick tables. So you can select the format in which we want to represent the data or you simply manually you can just drag and drop this one or if you want to more number of uh, rows and columns other than this one just go with the insert table it will prompt for uh, rows and columns and you can do that right now so this is all about our uh, table and then this the next one is the pictures so we can insert the pictures here so just select the picture and it will pr pr prompt for the uh, destination where the pictures have been so just go with the pictures See here uh, in my system I am having a, some sort of pictures so if you select this one see if you select this one automatically that picture will be appeared here so inserted here right you can just drag and drop to reduce and increase the size of the picture and these are the picture styles you can also have the picture styles how the picture can be represented see this is a for frame format and this is one format and this is one format and without the frame so rounded rectangles right some blur effect some frame right this is some uh, only diagonal rounded and this is without one this is a frame so this is a circular right that we can apply a lot of options so these are the lot of options available here so we can select one among this one so from this one right if you insert this pay picture you will get automatically these things right and one more thing so online pictures you can also download the online pictures from here if you are having internet you can have this one so just I, just wait i will uh, connect it and i will show you so if you are uh, having the internet just go to the online pictures so you can observe here please wait while i upload so this is a bingo bing search and this is a onedrive personal if you go with search so go with the cell phone and press enter automatically all the cell phone images will be appeared here if you want to insert this type of image select this one and insert automatically that image will be inserted into your document right so like that from the internet also we can all we can just insert the images and the shapes so if you want to draw in a shapes so you can simply go with the shapes option so here you can observe a lot of shapes available so this is a text box normal text box so which we can write the uh, see you have to drag and drop to get the text box here you can write uh, the text okay so this is right So like this we can uh, give the text size, uh, sorry text sh shape and then uh, this is a, a normal uh, vertical line or a horizontal line we can draw it. So, so if, you, if you draw this line you will get uh, options for the drawing line. So you can observe here shape outline. So that can be weight. You can also give the weight right and you can give the color for that okay and shape effects. So you can give the shape effects like 3D effects or a shadow effects or whatever it may be we can give that one and uh, all these things can be done here and again there are a lot of shapes here see the re recently used shapes will be available here and the lines all the lines different lines different categories if you go with this one curvature so some curved lines will be appeared with the arrow mark right so these things can also be done here and right so like that there are a lot of options to get the shapes so if you go with the arrow marks you can simply insert the arrow marks here right so like that we, we can insert a lot of shapes rectangles basic shapes okay and block arrows flow charts equation shapes so is equal to symbol will also be here right so is equal to so we can also draw the equations here right and like that we are having a lot of shapes here and we can uh, insert all those shapes here right and next so coming to the next one that is a smart chat so in this smart chat there will be some sort of diagrams so you can edit all these diagrams right you can observe here so this is one type of diagram available if you want to use this template so you can just click on ok we'll get that template here right so here there are a lot of options designs how the, the, it should be displayed so it, it will show the designs right see these are all the designs so 
based upon our requirement we can select the design and then we can write the text okay we can write the text see if you write here c and here i will write some c plus plus and here i will write uh, some python right so like that we can we can simply write the text and we can edit the design okay so see not only this design so we are having a lot of smart art that means designs so you can use a f format in which you want to represent the data so if you want to represent the data in terms of this one so like this just click on okay that means that template will be appeared here right and if you want to insert the design in some other way see there are a lot of options okay if you want to design some life cycle so just click on this one you will get a life cycle okay so here you can observe there are a lot of layouts different layouts for that life cycle in order to represent the life cycle we can represent any one among those things okay right so like this we can also have a different designs so different templates so we can select any one in which we want to represent the data okay, these are all different uh, types okay so here you can uh, uh, search with the category wise okay if it is a cycle click on cycle so all the uh, formats or layouts represented uh, regarding cycle we will get this one if you want to get a hierarchical fashion so if you want to represent the data in a hierarchical fashion go with the hierarchical so that we will get that represent if you want to represent the data in terms of pyramids we can also set this pyramids in terms of matrix in terms of relations so we can select one among these smart art graph okay this will be very useful for the documentation purpose right and next one is a chart and this this will uh, just draw the chart so if you select the, there will be different types of charts this is a column chart this is a line chart this is a pie chart this is a bar chart area chart xy scatter a stock chart surface radar and a combo so there are a lot of uh, charts available so you can have different styles here so at the top you can find the different styles for column chart right this is one type one type of column chart this is one type of column chart so how how we can represent the data in the column charts and this is a line charts so these are different styles so you just select that one and click on ok automatically the chart will be displayed here and you will get a table here so you need to change that one so if it is a category see you, you can observe here the category so here you can change the category okay so for year okay for better understanding i am saying 2018-19 so this is a samsung representation uh, of television this is a sony representation of television right and uh, <coughs> sorry give the values for this one give the value so some 10 some 20 and some 30 right so this is a chart for 2018-19 and for 2019 and 20 okay you can go uh, what are the different uh, uh, sales okay you can uh, you can also go with the sales right so samsung some lg some sony right so you can observe here so samsung sony and lg so you can observe the sales of that that particular uh, uh, televisions or any brands okay so for for just getting the analysis of that brands we can go with the charts we can also have this chart or directly we can select the layout of charts okay you can select the layout of charts so these are the different layouts and also we can select a more number of charts so if you are not satisfied with that chart we can go with the pie chart you can select this one and uh, again we'll get and thus that chart will be inserted and that particular table will be represented and you can observe here so you can change the table so you rep represent the chart in different ways right so like that we can have the chat we can insert the chat okay and other than this chat we can also have the screenshot see you can screen clipping click on the screenshot we'll get the screen clipping just click on the screen clipping so it will prompt for the selection so you can select the desktop or any other application if you want to just give the screenshot i just want to take the screenshot of this desktop just i am selecting here automatically that selection will be appeared in your document itself so this is the screenshot right this is the screenshot so like that we can insert the pictures online pictures shapes we can insert the shapes we can insert the smart chat you can have the charts representation of data and also we can have the screenshot right so this is how we can use the tables shapes and all these things in our windows world so hope you have understood this session 
so we'll stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, uh, insertion of a table or a pictures or a shapes or a chats or anything else feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much